Oh, or, I don't know. When did American Idol start? Like three weeks ago. Three weeks? I don't know. <laughs> My dad just sends me updates. About him? With the text messages. Yeah, but I like him. He's, I like him too. He's saying, I got a golden ticket in Hollywood Week. That he's the cool. new Kelly Clarkson. I like that so? he, uh, full Family Matters, like theme song. Yeah. Like yeah. that was his thing. Like that's pretty cool. It's a theme song. And I watched a video today. Yeah. He really rocked this one. You know me, all grand, all the way. He's that was us. finest. <laughs> he's also he's in us. Shoeless. Yeah, he's in Shoeless Revolution and too. And Three Bears Dubuque. Yeah, he's in a lot of lacrosse bands. He does that are really, They're just good stuff. This was his, I believe, last chance to go on American Idol. He tried two or three times before, and apparently his sister won like a dream ticket to be at the front of the line, but she was too old, so he took the ticket, and now he gets to. Actually, make I know it. her sis his That's sister cool. went to Can you only times audition too. no a certain amount think, of times? So it's either it's either a certain amount of times or a certain age. I I'm think the audition. age is like twenty nine though, twenty nine or thirty. Well, he's getting up there, I'm sure. And now isn't it like the first age is fifteen or something? Something like that. I don't like know. Really, really young. young. It's way too young to be out there at American yeah. Idol. Go to, just go play in the park or Although something. Although the fat past few years been the two the top two last year were both seventeen. What? Scotty McCreary and Lauren Elena. I don't even, I've never even heard of those. I don't people. have cable. Yeah, I'm not a big American Idol. Yeah, I can't yeah. watch the idol. I don't even know why I did this story. <laughs> I've never Fox. watched American Idol. <laughs> I just Isn't know that, that's not a cable channel, is it? Well, I don't know. We just don't have TVs. Oh, well. What? College life, yeah. Hey, I have a TV, and it has a VCR. Oh, I, so. awesome. I've seen. So you watch all your old Disney movies? Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I love it. No, Lethal Weapon, mostly. <laughs> all right, anyway, we are going to go to a campus PSA right now. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Fact: University of Wisconsin La Crosse is ranked the number two college in the Midwest. UW La Crosse is ranked number 34 for out-of-state students among public universities nationwide. UW La Crosse is ranked as one of the most military friendly schools in the nation. UW La Crosse is number 24 among medium colleges and universities for Peace Corps volunteers. Uh, welcome back. So, um, okay, so last week in South Bend, Indiana, um, a woman came home, she was with her son, and she saw the lights on in her house, and she just figured it was her brother, and she went inside, there's like a, her, there's food cooking in the kitchen, apparently it smelled really good, like, the floor was swept up, all her laundry was like, um, folded, like, all her chores were taken care of, and it was like some guy broke in and did it, like, Interesting. Just broke in. His name was Keith Davis. He's 46 years old. Turns out he's her neighbor. And, like, they think he was, like, on drugs and got kind of confused, went to the wrong house, oh. came in, cooked up some food. Oh, hey. Is she pressing charges? Took care of business. No, I think she's cool with it. I would be, too. I'm going to invite this guy over. Like, I'm going to leave my key under mind. the mat for after this guy. To yeah. like, after he's done at your house, he can come to my house. Yeah. Can you imagine, you're like, a long day at work, and you're like, oh, man, I have to do all the chores the when I get home. Man. You come home, boom, it's done. The well, last thing I Thanks, want Keith. is a 43-year-old yeah. stranger in my house doing my laundry, going through my undies, <laughs> and cooking me dinner. Well, you had to make it weird. Well, yeah, you <laughs> did. It was all friendly. It was nice. It was friendly, and you just like took it. <laughs> I'm just putting things in perspective. If maybe you got, se you like got secrets at your house, don't you? <laughs> yeah. That's what it Uncle is. Mm -hmm. We need more nice people in the world. <laughs> and really, that guy was probably just all like whacked and confused. He thought maybe he, was he wasn't on drugs at all, and he was just like, "Her house is so messy all the time. I got to go in." And he's, the <laughs> he's paying it forward. He's that's the ultimate exactly. good guy, Greg. Yeah, I wonder if that's he's why he tells police. Beans. You know, her house is just disgusting. Honestly, I get in honestly, there, clean it. I couldn't take it anymore. Then I got I hungry. Right. Yeah. Then I got hungry, so I decided to make something. Go so big. Her child is so malnourished. I just had to clean things. really should call social services. Uh, well, that couple in Wisconsin, like, I'm. This is off topic. I didn't have it. But that reminded me. <laughs> they like they found their daughter, their teenage daughter, like 
malnourished. Like the and starving girl? Like, yeah. She's the like cops, or something. The neighbors called the cops because they saw this girl, when they had never seen before, come out of the house, scrap through the garbage to get food. And it turns out, like, they had a kid, and they were keeping her in the basement. It's like and a child called it. But, like, real life. That's but real why. life, and that's sick. That is disgusting. There should be birth wow. control in the water. Everyone should be subject to birth control. Whoa. You take Whoa. an exam. No, we're this is we're getting real. You are getting but super no. real. Then oh, you take an exam if you really want to have a child, and if you're found competent to have a child, you get the antidote or some bottled water what if you're or something. Test taker? You just get the regular one. Well, yeah. you know what? Then you shouldn't have a child. I have test anxiety. Though. I feel like. But you can be a good test taker, <laughs> and then you are a I get awful nervous. parent. I get nervous during tests. I get super nervous. He does. And Jordy can be a good dad. Well, like, there'd be more, no more, like, 16 and pregnant. Like, I'm not doubting Well, then what Jordy am I supposed to watch on MTV, then? Well, yeah. How am, I supposed to, how am I supposed to get my teen mom on? I feel I like it's it. a great plan. I need my teen mom. And I don't the care. It's disgusting and great So many people time. shouldn't have children. Kids. Well, there's that. Yeah. That's that's the water. That's the birth control. That's Something in the water, indeed. <laughs> Speaking of things in the water, oh. sperm whale poop going for the price <laughs> of gold. Yeah, you heard it here first. Sperm whale poop price of gold so get out there and start swimming around it is like yeah. worth its weight in gold for, or like it's it goes for twenty dollars a gram while gold sells for 30 so it's not exactly the way to go but how can i get my hands gold. on this poop well collecting Find it yeah. we well, first you got to find some sperm whales which are nowhere near here i know a guy <laughs> jordy's got a sperm whale guy i guess so okay. you should talk to jordy you know guy? Right. but uh they generate these in their intestines much like a cat makes a hairball and they poop it out and feces turns into this hard stuff that they use in, it's called ambergris. Sounds about right. It's in perfume. Apparently they re, oh. they made a perfume <laughs> that one of the queens from the old had and they reprinted it and it was going for $11,000 a bottle. So it's yeah. some pretty important stuff apparently. Wow. Change, I'm going to yeah. start selling my bottles of, bottles my of, bottles of poop. <laughs> I don't think that's going to go for oh, the same amount of price. Dude, yeah. this is ambergris. <laughs> this is ambergris. <laughs> I feel like Rare Colombian people. breed poop. <laughs> I don't oh, ever no. want to smell like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Well, can you imagine? You're like, they're like, oh, what is that smell? Is it your perfume you're wearing? Yeah, it's just my sperm whale, whale oh, excrement. Oh, oh, this is whale. whale poop. Or like at the I mall at when they have the people with the perfume. I got it at Target. Yeah, the people with the little whale kiosk. Poop? Want some whale poop? <laughs> <laughs> Want some? Want some? Um, no, I'm good. That just makes me think of Elf, and then he sprays it in his mouth. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> some good, some good whale. We're going there. Yep. You know people who like. Cash for gold. Like what about cash for sperm whales? Yeah. Oh. Let's or start like that. WMCM's new production, Cash <laughs> for Sperm Whales. People really into like preparing for the apocalypse have like stores of gold. Like you can get stores of poop. <laughs> not just it's not just any poop though. Whale poop. There you go. Sperm whale poop. Let's be specific. We don't want people just going around swimming <laughs> in the ocean gathering random poop. That's a really bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm either. sure there's some sort of disease you can get from that. Probably. I'd it's wear probably gloves, of course. Of <laughs> I wear gloves, but I jump in mouth first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so, I oh thought my, my heart attack story was gross. And Pushing the limits of, ca of cable TV today. Mm -hmm. All right. Deal. All right. I want to talk about another Florida story, all the weird stuff happening in Florida. You know those electronic cigarettes that are supposed to be... Yeah. <laughs> what do they call? Awfully familiar. <laughs> anyway, it's supposed to be semi better for you than an actual cigarette. Well, this one blew up in a man's face. He was <laughs> puffing on it, and yeah, the funny. faulty battery um, exploded. And I guess, like, <laughs> he lost his front teeth, part of his tongue, and got severely burnt. And boom goes and boom. the Silver Easter. lining. And so, well, so I guess the Safer. chief of police said, well, after they, like, found him, said it would have been like holding a bottle rocket to your f mouth <laughs> and lighting it and letting it go off. Perfect. Silver That's lining dude's like. probably done smoking cigs. He's probably like on the nicotine patch. He went now. straight cold turkey after his mouth got blown off. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break from smoking, guys. I'm good. Most of my jaw's thing. wired shut, so I'm not gonna smoke. No, anymore. I'm good right now. So I guess he called then the fire department and thanked them afterwards. So he was a nice guy. Well, that's and good. Said, yeah, Thanks for helping me out. Yeah. That kind of puts it everything know, full circle. Like, what a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm, thank you. Thank you. All right. Is that All Kenny right. from South Park? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, thank you for watching Afternoon Delight. Uh, we will see you next week. It just flew by.